Hey, it's Mike from Web Alley, and today we're going to go through setting up and configuring the Web Alley testing tool. So to start with, go add new, click the upload upload plugin, uh, and then you choose the file and go there. Alternatively, you can just click and drag it in. So we're currently working on 2.1.0. Hit activate plugin, and now the Web Alley testing tool or website tester it will live under settings. Otherwise, uh, come into plugins and you can get to the settings from here. So in this video, I'm going to go through these first sections just so that you know this can get you up and running um, as quickly as possible. So we have the CSS and in this CSS, this is what's going to, this styles the form and the display. So um, this isn't going to be displayed everywhere on the site so you don't need to worry about conflicts uh, throughout your site it's literally just going to be on the actual page that where you have the two um, where you have the two things the two short codes which for completeness those are the two short codes that we're going to be putting onto one of the pages so you know feel free to edit this uh, to change it however makes sense so uh, it displays the way that you want it to um, this I've kept it deliberately minimal just so that um, it has as few conflicts as possible so the next one that we've got is test to run so these are the four lighthouse tests if you only want one or two or three or whatever then whatever you have checked here that is going to be what runs so then you would hit choose tests uh, in the next step we've got the Google API key uh, so um, follow this link to get your Google API key. I'll do a video separately on this one, um, on a walkthrough on how to exactly get everything. So for now, you would paste it in here and then hit save API key. I'm going to hit pause and then jump to the next tab. Okay, so now we have the license that is for our software. So you will have got it when you bought this software. Uh, if not, then look in the My Account area of webally.digital. Uh, you can find this license key here. So you will so you'll paste your license key in here and then hit Save Changes. And then once you've saved it in there, you'll see the Activate License. So you'll click Activate License and then you'll see it says active in here. And then if you were to go into your My Account, you would see that one of your licenses uh, was used on this one here. So if you ever want to uh, change where you have the, where you have the license running, so you don't want to have it on whatever site, you want to put it on a different one, then just come in here, deactivate the license, and then you'll be able to activate it on the new site. Okay, um, don't bother using that, that's a, that's a fake one. <laughs> Okay, so now to the instructions. So we, so we've entered that API. We've done the test. We've done the plugin. Uh, the last step for this video is we are going to set up the test forms. So you're going to need to put both of these um, short codes into your page. So it works the same whether you have Gutenberg, like we're using here, or you've got Divi or Element or Beaver Builder bakery any of those any of those however they want you to do short codes just do it that way so in this case let's go let's call it testing sorry if the keyboard's a bit loud so the first one is our form you can put whatever you want onto this page and um, just as long as you have the the test form and the test results short codes in some at, at some point on the same page so for this we'll go short code and then you paste the short code in with the square brackets and then let's put a spacer in here just so that it gives it a bit of room but for example you could have the you could have the test form in say a sidebar and then the results in the main content however works best for you um, just make sure that they're on the same page together so now we hit publish and let's go view the page all right so looks it's pretty bare bones so you're not going to see any anything down here for the results until 
uh, a test actually happens. So let me go grab CNN. And the reason for using CNN is simply because CNN as a website, regardless of what you think of them as a news organization, but as a website, they are quite terrible. <laughs> so it gives us an opportunity to see a lot of the, uh, the where things might be wrong. So it can take up to 60 seconds. I'm not going to make you sit through that. All right, and so then we have the results back. Uh, websites that have fewer things wrong with them or that are faster loading or whatever, uh, those are going to be a lot quicker to get your results back. So as you can see, um, it's fairly minimal design, uh, but you can come in here. Uh, each, of, each of these will go through. Um, well, we will go through. Each of these will open up um, to explain where things went wrong. So yours might, your results might look different depending on how your theme handles, say, the different headings. So, for example, these are these are headings uh, of different levels. Um, yeah. So feel free to to change it up and uh, make it make the design look the way that you want it to look. <clears throat> this uh, this part here, run a full lighthouse report. That section there that has to be part of it as uh, basically. We, we have to put that in there so that uh, we can use the API. Otherwise, um, Google might get a little upset at you for, um, for not having it in there. Anyway, so that is all there is to it, to the setting up and running this testing thing. I'll see you in the next one.